I guess I could just deconstruct all this. Deconstruct it all and rebuild it someplace else. A little bit higher. Maybe up into this area up here. In fact, that may be a good idea. Um, let us have a little bit of a grow room up in here. Uh, right up in here. Actually, let's have it right here. Right there. Uh, so this is just... Oh, what is this? Vacuum? Ah, it's a vacuum. Perfect. Which means I can just dig straight into it without any problems. And then we can have a layer of one, two, three, bop, right there, of farm tiles up here. Just standard farm tiles. Rotated down. And just have it like that. Right? I think so. So let's deconstruct. Let us deconstruct. Uh, at a fairly high priority, all of this stuff. Replace it with standard tiles. And then we can have high priority dig all this stuff out. Right there. Uh, what's the priority on this stuff? No, not good. Uh, put that at a 7. Put this at a 7. Put, oh, put that as a 7 as well. Bop. Right there. And then, priority 7 on this. All the way across. And there. And then we can high priority, dig out, all of this right there. And maybe, uh, ew, this is, this is gonna fall, isn't it? Okay, that's not good. I don't want any of this chlorine. High priority. Uh, high priority. Wall this stuff off right here. There. Highest of high priorities. There we go. A little bit better. Not great, but good enough. What are you doing with the water? Huh. I don't know. Well, we have plenty of food. We ha Holy crap, 178 food. I don't even know why I'm going for this stuff up here. I don't even know why I'm trying to build all these pinch of peppers. But I am. Low air pressure. Unbreathable. Fine. Fine. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, cancel that. Or maybe not. Bop, bop. I like a 7. I should have put it at a 7. There. There we go. So now we just have to wait for this. Come on, guys. Dig and build and build and dig and dig and build and build and dig. Oh, that reminds me, has anyone actually used the hand sanitizer? Um, reduces sanitizing, produces sanitizing gel to remove the dirty hands effects from duplicates. We'll only use hand sanitizer before eating a meal. Decor, 10. Well, it actually increases the decor, which is nice, but at the same time, eh. And that, that, somebody needs to come paint, in, paint that. And paint this as well. No one is painting. What's the decor situation? Not great, but better than nothing, I suppose. Oh, I'm just glad it doesn't actually need any kind of power or anything. That is a pleasant surprise. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Polluted oxygen. Uh, okay. You guys coming? Look at all these pinch of seeds. We have pinches. We've got, holy crap, look at that. Do we actually have enough area to, no, we don't. We're actually out of places to store our food. Holy crap, if you can believe that. Um. Huh. Is there, like, storage over here? Holy crap, this is actually full, too. The refrigerator down here is... The refrigerated ration box is filled. Everything is filled. Holy crap, that's a great thing. That's a wonderful thing. That's a beautiful thing. 
and it's completely sterilized. It is refrigerated. I think it's because of all the carbon dioxide. Oh, and look at this little guy. He's just down here sucking up all of this polluted oxygen. I mean, this entire place was filled with polluted oxygen, and now, now it's not. Now, it is filled with nothing. Oh, okay. So, ooh, oh, wait. I completely forgot to dig this out. At like a six. Uh, a six? Yes, dig that out at a six. At a six. So how's this going? Prioritized. How is everything prioritized? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. There we go. So this should be a little bit more prioritized. And it'll uh, fill up the air pressure in here a little bit more. There we go. All this extra toxic chlorine getting stuck in there. And once they are finished with this, I'll actually be able to put 112, 130, not 30, 10, 9. This should be hot enough. This should be hot enough for all these stupid pinch of peppers. Ah. But yeah, is there any way to, like, do something with all this chlorine? Can I actually turn the uh, gaseous chlorine into beach stone? Or No, no, get out of there. Don't you dare. Ah, she almost got stuck in there. She almost got stuck inside of the friggin' thing. Holy crap, that not that would not have been good. Ooh. Ooh. Look at all this polluted oxygen in here. Very toxic. What does it have to say? Holy crap, it still says it's okay. It still says, even though it's heavily polluted, that it's okay to breathe. In what world is this okay to breathe? Come on, game. This is very toxic in here. There's no reason for anyone to be in there. Why are you going in there? Oh, come on. Maybe I should move all this stuff down. In fact, having this down here next to this little guy might be a good idea. Huh. In fact, that's a very good idea. Unfortunately, it's an idea that I will quickly forget about as I focus on trying to get some pinch of peppers planted there we go pinch of peppers on the go um will they be able to fertilize this without being able to get to the top will they be able to fertilize it i'm not really sure but hopefully priority seven on all of this there we go um the question is can they fertilize it from this position? Can they, like, shove fertilizer up into the... Gro oh. Cannot irrigate low air pressure, still to low air pressure. Ah, it's growing. We have just enough air pressure. Kind of. Maybe. I'm not really sure. But it's filled with toxic oxygen, which is not a good thing. But at the same time, I don't really care. Uh, holy crap, this is a lot of hydrogen. Oh. It needs even more wheezy's wort. Wheezes wart and more bleach stone. So apparently you find bleach stone wherever you find wheeze wart, but look at this hydrogen. Holy crap. That's a lot of hydrogen. Uh, I kind of want to go over here and explore it. I kind of do. But at the same time, I know that's probably not a good idea. But it's an idea I'm going to run with simply because I'm that kind of a crazy guy. There we go. Let's get this down to here at like a seven. And then we can just start digging out at like level six. Right around right here. Dig out all of this. We'll get a nice big supply of all this kind of stuff. And then I'll slowly work my way down. Get all this bleach stone. And then we can head out here and explore a little bit. I mean, not a lot. I don't want to do it a lot. Especially into this chlorine, which would not be a good thing. But at the same time, I am curious. Because I want to make it to the surface. I do want to make it all the way to the surface. That is something I want to do. Unfortunately, this should be at a 7 as well. For whenever they have a chance to do it. Ah, there we go. But yeah, I want to get to the surface. 
And this is stilted still. Why is it still stilted? It, it, what is the air pressure situation? How can I check the air pressure? Uh, high concentration, sufficient concentration, low concentration, unbreathable. It doesn't actually say what the uh, air pressure concentration is. Or how I can actually increase it. Um, I'm not really sure. Hmm. Well, they're, at the very least, they're digging this stuff out. Uh, they've got that going. They've got that building. They're taking the long way around for some reason. Um, guys? Why are you taking the long way around? Get that going. Build this up first, then go up and down from here. Don't take the long way around like a friggin' monkey. What's wrong with you? You're you're wasting all your valuable oxygen. You're wasting valuable oxygen running around like an idiot. What the hell? What the hell? Oh. Pick up all this wait, don't pick up the chlorine. Never pick up the chlorine. In fact, let us have a storage box right here at a fairly high priority. In fact, max priority right there. And we can fill it with all the chlorine blocks just to keep it from being put into here. Because I, the last thing I want is chlorine being filled up inside of this. Somebody build this quickly, please. Damn it. Guys, come on. Build this up. I'll put it at max priority for all the chlorine. There we go. Uh, what is it? Uh, what would it be under? What is it called? Bleach stone. So we need to put all the bleach stone. Uh, bleach stone. Agriculture? No. Filtration? No. Consumable? Ah, here we go. Bleach stone. All bleach stone at maximum priority goes into this chest. That way. It'll be nice and cordoned off right here. And any chlorine that gets produced will be stuck in there inside this building. Because that's one of the problems I was having. That's why I put all of the uh, polluted dirt into here. In fact, I should probably put all the polluted dirt somewhere else. Like down here, where this little guy can munch on it. I mean, he'd be happy with it, right? Munching on the polluted oxygen from all that uh, polluted dirt. And why does... Damn it. Mop up this stuff. Mop it up. Mop it up right there. Get rid of some of it. In fact, mop up anything that's in here as well. Ah! We have none. We have none. None to be mopped up. Very nice. Very nice. And it finally looks like the pr uh, air pressure has gotten high enough for all of our... Well... Almost all of them. Uh, this one's still waiting. Still kind of stilted. But at the same time, ah well. Ah well. Okay. Well, let us put out a light of six right about here. And then we can maybe prioritize six right here. And there we go. Then we can go out here and explore a little bit. Because look at this place. This place is huge. This is a massive cavern. I don't know what's out here, but I want to check it out. Uh, and we can have like a level 6 all the way across into the unknown. Hopefully into the unknown. Uh, we're finally doing it. We are finally exploring the unknown. The great, scary, probably toxic and will kill us unknown. Ooh, that's actually not a good thing. Luckily, we have an extra person right here for whenever that happens. Uh, we actually have w way more food than we actually need, so put that at a five. And leave this going continuous for whenever there's a, a need for it. Because I don't want the food to get wasted. We already have. Um, in fact, let's put this back down to a six as well. Because we don't actually need any more food being produced. Having it stored is good enough. In fact, it might be a good idea to have... Is it cold enough in here? 22 degrees? Is that cold enough? 
for like another box. Uh, storage box? Where's the storage box? What is the storage box under? Food? Ah, here it is. Ration box. So is this cold enough for a ration box? 22 degrees? Because this one's at minus 3. And this is 17. Um, I think it might be cold enough. I'm not really sure. Low air pressure. What the hell? Why is it low air pressure? I don't know. Ah. Okay, let's build another medium priority ration box up here. Just so we can store some more food. And hopefully it's cold enough. Because I think the internal... What's the internal temperature in this stuff? To keep everything fresh. Contents, 54, fresh, fresh. Uh, what temperature does it need to be kept at to keep it fresh? I'm not really sure. But this, hopefully, will be cold enough. Maybe it'll be cold enough. So keep it at a, like a 7. All edibles, all cooking ingredients. There we go. And we'll have an, another little thing that we can stick all the extra food into. Keep that as a 7. Keep that as a 7. Keep that as a 9. And keep this at a 9. There we go. Cooking ingredients, edibles. Cooking ingredients and edibles. There we go. And cooking ingredients and edibles. Okay. And this, this, I don't want anything being put in there. Because this, this is a uh, un completely unrefrigerated. Nothing needs to go in there at all. Ah. It's already filled. Unrefrigerated. Damn it. Just not cold enough. Maybe it's because it's a... Uh... Ah, it's because it's still hovering around like the 40... The 40s. So once it gets down to like the 20s and 30s again, it might be okay. Once people stop coming in and around it. Fluted exposure. Damn it. Okay. Maybe putting it right here would be a better idea. Putting one, like, right there. Right next to the wheeze wart. Right next to all this uh, carbon dioxide. Because carbon dioxide isn't really toxic. Well, it's not really to it counts as a toxic substance. Uh, unless you're uh, trying to breathe it. It's actually fairly good for cooling stuff down. There we go. Keep it at a 7. And mop all this stuff up. Mop it up. Right there. High priority mop. Mop it up. Mop it up. Yes. There you go. Aha. Uh, what are you doing? Where you going? Where you going? Why are you going all the way down there? I don't know. Okay. Uh, edibles cooking all seven. There we go. Holy crap, it's already filled too. How is everything filled in here? I don't know. But everything is just filling up so fast. I'm I'm slightly concerned by that. Has everything just been sitting around and rotting? All this time? It's unrefrigerated. Uh you. I mean I, if I, I mean this one is refrigerated. This one's refrigerated. So it's not that much of a concern. But at the same time, uh you. Okay. Where can I put another another box? I actually need to build another box. Uh, so let's do that. Let's build one more box. Like right here on solid ground. I should have had that at a prior priority. Seven. Bop. There we go. With another ration box right here. Also at a seven. Once that gets built. There we go. Boom. And then we can maybe dig that out. Dig this. And then mop it up. Dig it down and mop it up. There we go. Mop. Mop. Mop your little heart out. In fact, mop all this if you can. Come on, guys. There we go. So, cooking ingredients, level 7. There we go. And it's 41 degrees. Why is it 41 degrees? How is it 41 degrees already? 
What the hell? It's one here. And 39, 10. I guess I just have to wait for it to cool down a little bit. And it should be okay. Okay, well, that, that's okay. That's fine. That's okay. Um, warm sweaters, cool vest, warm sweater, cool vest. So, the cool vest produces the protects the weather from heat by decreasing. Uh, let's give that to he uh, um, Harold, because he's a cool guy. So he needs a cool sweater. Let's give this cool vest to uh, Bert. Or Devon. Or Nails. Give it to Nails. Warm sweater. Give it to Gosman. Gosman is the one that's always getting sick. Warm sweater. Give it to Stinky. Give it to Stinky. Cool vest. Who needs a cool vest? Oh, I'm not really sure. But, hopefully they'll be happy enough with it. Ah. So yeah, look at this. Oh, look. Look. They actually did it. They did it. And there's there's nothing out here. There's there's like nothing out here. It's just a massive cavern. Well, there's another ice thing out here. Um I was kind of hoping for a natural gas geyser, but there's nothing. There's like literally nothing. Um now there's no oxygen whatsoever, which is not good cuz it means it's going to be hard to get even any further than this. Um, what I guess I could do is, like, build a tunnel. Like, a proper big tunnel somewhere. That could work. Maybe. Uh. Ooh. I'm not really sure what to do now. I, I honestly don't know. Uh, it's day 149. Almost day 150. 150 days! If you can believe that, and we're alive. Holy crap. Uh, and they finally managed to get down into here. So, uh, let's see now. Do I want to keep going down? Do I want to keep going over? Do I want to break into this area? Because there's literally no oxygen. I would have to build an oxygenated tunnel into here at some point. Uh... In fact, that might be a better idea. Maybe extending this tunnel all the way through. Actually having... No, that wouldn't be a good idea at all, would it? Uh, maybe having a gas vent into a tunnel right here. Just leading all the way through. Might be a good idea. If I really want to make it all the way out there. Just to give it a little bit of oxygen. Should I do that? That could be a good idea. Of course, it could also be a terrible idea. Um, in fact, that that's probably a terrible idea. But I guess I could also go back, go straight down, because there's this this area does have oxygen, so it could be worth it to just kind of dig through. In fact, let's go ahead and set them digging down and through this right there, and then we can have a ladder going down all the way to here. Like, right down to... Uh, right down to here. At the very least, it'll give them access to all of this sleet wheat. And then we can dig out... At like a level 6. Right here. And we can see what's down here as well. Ah. But yeah, I guess that's gonna take a little bit of time to get them to do that. So yeah, day 150... Everyone's alive. Everyone's relatively happy. We have managed to pierce the outer shell of our safe zone. We have seen a huge amount of the map. Well, I say huge. We've seen more of the map than I've used to. And we have found yet another steam geyser. I guess these things are a lot more common than I thought. I didn't even realize that was up there. Until just now. But there's a steam geyser just right here pumping away there's one over here somewhere right there pumping away and we got this one down here where I'm really pumping from oh I guess I could have just had like a waterfall or something with all the water coming from it 
and just channeling down into a tunnel or something and just filling up my tanks. That would have been a better idea. It would have been easier to pump from. Oh well. Hindsight is twenty twenty, As they say. I still have a fair amount of water right here. Uh... We do have water pumping, right? <laughs> I just I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure everything is still pumping away. Um Actually, I don't think it is. I don't think we are producing nearly enough. Uh it might be worth it to rebuild this pipe. Plumbing Rebuild the pipe at fairly high priority. Right there to right there. Build that back up. Come on, somebody. Grab some materials. Build that pipe. There we go. Just to get it back up and going. Just to get the pipes filled up once again. Because right now, these are not even being... These aren't even on. These aren't even pumping. So... I don't think they have enough materials, enough uh, liquid going into it to keep it filled. At the very least, this pump and this one air scrubber does not have enough. So that is a good thing to know. All this stuff should be filling up again. All this stuff, the fertilizer maker should be filling up again. And we should be getting rid of some of the polluted water. Because look at this, we aren't actually getting too much going through this pipe now. Since half of it's being split to this pipe, half of it's being split to the dump tank. So, it shouldn't back up over here anymore. At the very least, it shouldn't back up. Hopefully, it shouldn't back up. I mean, it's not even reaching these two. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to take a break. Uh, come back in a bit. Maybe. I should probably close this off. Because all the water's out of here. In fact, let's go ahead and close that off. And then I will take a break and come back next time with more oxygen not included. Haha. -ha.